series of APC9 in all kind of colors. Fada, Coyote, Armor Black. Look at this. All ready to go. It's a plugs barrel, but just for the cells, that's a small one. There's a nice APC 9K Pro with an M Micro. All ready to go. That's nice. This is beautiful. APC. Look at this bad boy package. Of course, an SD. Zoom out. Look at this. APC 9SD Pro. And point acro ready to go. SPSD, SP5SD. Welcome back. I'm Easy B and this is Easy B Tactical. Thanks for watching. If you're not a member yet, subscribe to the channel. If you're a subscribe member, I appreciate you watching and continue to watch this, watch my content. Sign up for notifications. Um, also consider supporting me on Patreon and follow me on Instagram. I'm also posting pictures on Instagram every so often. Try to do a couple of times a week at least. I'm not as discipline on that platform but i need i'm gonna try better uh i do have a day job so time gets out of my hands sometimes anyway today is christmas eve if you're watching this video on christmas eve or tomorrow or this weekend and you celebrate christmas merry christmas to you and your loved ones if not happy holidays hopefully you're taking the time off at some point or you're able to enjoy yourself and your family and recharge one of my favorite brands of farm is BNC, Brugger and Tome. And I have a couple of videos that I've posted in the past regarding the Side Spectre, the KH9, the GHM9, and so on and so forth. One of my favorite guns is the GHM9 from them. I posted a video recently about the Station 6 that I had the pleasure to operate and view in person. Today's video is about, from the title, you already know, the two of the BNT facility. I want to share with you what a great time I had visiting the BNT headquarters in Thun, Switzerland. So to give you a little bit of background, uh, before I go there actually, I just come up from recovering from a cold. I'm tired. It's been a very busy few weeks. This time last month, so if I'm looking a little tired and so on and so forth, bear with me, but hopefully not. This time last month, I went on a few, I took a trip to several countries africa europe and on my way when i was in europe i went to switzerland and i thought i couldn't come to switzerland and not try to see pnt because i'm a big i usually do those kind of things because i'm a big watch fan i visited a few places so watches and so on and so forth and same thing for the farms but that was my first time to prove a farm manufacturer so the background of the story is important i was sitting around somewhere in africa i just sent an email PNT. I know they're not open to the public, they are private, but I wasn't sure. I just wanted to see if I could check out a museum or a shop or something. And I did get a reply the next morning from someone at BNT. So I'm expecting a commercial and sales rep, a marketing person. And I read the email and the email, I won't read you entirely what the email said, but the email says, we are not open to the public. We don't give to, this is a private company. However, I cannot hear that there's a fan such as yourself who comes all the way so close to us. It would be unfair not to even grant you a peek at what we do. And the signature, Carl Brugger, who is the CEO of Brugger and Tomek. Uh, there's a channel, Texas Gunball, I believe, which I watch once in a while. I think he shares similar content about a letter he received from BNT. And he's at, from his channel, he's also an avid BNT fan, so am I. Anyway, Carl Brugger responded to my email. Again, 
they didn't pay me for this video. I never got a free thing from BMT, but better catalog and a personalized touch, so which we'll talk about soon in a few minutes. But I'm not a sponsored video. I'm a small channel trying to aiming to get bigger. I'm a hardcore farms enthusiast and collector. Uh, but more to that, maybe on the other on the other side, one of these days. The point I'm trying to make is I was very surprised and touched to receive a response from the CEO of a company with the reputation of BNT, such a large company. So that was very surprising. So anyway, I got an answer. I got an email saying, yes, when you come to Switzerland, stop by. We would love to show you a little bit of what we do. Okay, so fast forward. I do my thing, do my trips, blah, blah, blah. Enjoy my car, drive around a lot in Europe. When I get to Switzerland, I go to Thun, which is in a German-speaking part of Switzerland. Wake up one morning, and I get sick. In between that, I get sick. Between I go from Africa to France, I get sick. I get sick when I'm in Switzerland, but I pump myself with all the vitamin I can get and blah, blah. I was hoping it wasn't COVID, and it wasn't COVID. Anyway, by the day I'm supposed to go to BNT, I'm feeling better. I go to BNT, and I had a great time. I was received very well i felt like a celebrity and i'm a nobody right so i'm just a pure hardcore enthusiast so i did not plan i didn't know so i really didn't plan the trip that way when i sent that email i just it just just a spur of the moment right so i didn't plan i didn't have a camera i'm a one-man show number one i didn't bring my dslr none of that stuff so i just had my iphone so what you will see are clips but anyway i asked two things i could film I'm not going to show you everything. I'm going to have an extended version available for Patreon patrons. Patrons. So if you want to see the whole full extended version, support me on Patreon at the right level and you will see the behind the scene and which I will post probably later down the line. However, Carl Brugger spent, I spent several hours with him. I was very surprised and touched to spend time with him. He wasn't a sales rep. He wasn't a marketing person. We, I didn't meet other folks while I was there, but from the moment I arrived, he granted me several hours of his time, which I found absolutely precious for someone with that level of responsibility to be giving the time in this way to a, fan, a, a passion, a, another fan. I think for me, we'll talk more about that, but I think for me, that's why I like the brand like BMT. I was surprised and appreciative of the response I received from BMT. But at the same time, I wasn't too surprised because I felt that for the guns to be the way they are, they had to come from someone with a lot of care. And I think, again, I'm not paid to make this video. I didn't get any special treatment from BMT beside the time it gave me, which I think is VIP treatment in itself, right? Well, would, could they send me a gun to review one day? I would love to do that. But anyway, the way he spent time with me and the stories we talked about, we had a great time. We talked a lot about, we had, we had a lot of stories. His passion, my passion, how he spent his time. And I was very curious to know how he got started. And I kept looking down because my, my camera is on a little red dot. So the red dot is attracting. So I'm trying to make eye contact from now. So anyway, he's a very down to earth gentleman very passionate started very humbly i think building such suppressors out of his garage and then he evolved led on to this company that it is today the brand the reputation the notoriety the price yes it's all there the quality yes it's all high i think sometimes when you get to a certain level you can forget and detach yourself from where you start from i did not feel that from bnt i've had a pleasure to meet I don't want to say celebrities, but people of high stature. And not all of them are remaining the same when they get to a certain level. You will see the different things I saw at BMT. In no particular order, but I tried to kind of be chronological. So I was filming with my iPhone on the spur of the moment. I don't have a fancy montage because it's, I'm trying to do this video real quick and spend time with the family. So, But you will see kind of some of the engineering department where the ideas start and how it gets created. After he has a vision with his staff, 
you see the assembly line, the production, you see behind the scene really, but, but again, it would be a clip of each section. I tried to capture, so I had my phone that day and I was just making quick comments as I was walking by. Uh, again, I was not planning the video in my head like I, I'm doing it today. So I was super happy that he let me film everything. He didn't want to be on camera, which I totally respect to understand. But we talked a lot. We had a, he had a lot of good stories, very interesting stories. Some of them I can share if I ever do a live or if people who sign up on Patreon or through the comments, just ask me a question and I will see if I can answer. Very cool guy. I mean, we were hanging out and I, I was just overwhelmed. I was overwhelmed. I was excited. It was too much to the point where some of the guns which I went there for, like the SPC, the new uh, SPR, the Station 6, I did remember to play with that one. There, are, there were a few guns that I knew were coming out from BNT that I've been so excited about. They were all in front of me, but I was so excited I forgot to really pay attention to them or, or spend time filming them on a one-to-one -one setting like I did for the Station 6. And then I will have another video coming up on the SPR. Uh, TFB TV, Military Arms Channel, which are channels that I admire and look up to and that I watch. Texas Gun Vault, some of those guys I've covered, TFB TV especially, I've covered a, a lot on the upcoming BNT farms. I did have a chance to touch and see and operate all of them. I didn't shoot them, but they were all there. I should have spent time and made video, but I, to be honest, I was, I enjoyed my stay and I don't miss any, I regret maybe not spending time with the gun more, but I spent time with the person behind the gun, which I think is so much more important because for what we get out of those products, it comes from someone with that kind of drive, someone with that kind of leadership and passion and vision. So again, I don't think Carl Brueger is expecting this video. Maybe he will because we talked about my little channel, but he didn't ask me to make it. He didn't ask me to say a good few things. No, nothing. Uh, the, he likes questions, he likes challenge, he likes feedback. So if you have a BNT product and accessory, you don't have to have a YouTube channel. Send them questions, send them their feedback. I think he really cares about that kind of feedback because he's a true passionate individual. That's my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm not wrong. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now and I'm going to show you what I saw. BNT distribution supply chain. Lots of shipment of goods. All your goodies, accessories and farms and suppressors ready to go. All in these nice discreet black boxes. So quality control. Same body of accessories happen here. Uh, assembly lines, accessories, upper receiver, hand guards and all the good stuff that will make a very nice finished product at the end. Well, assembly and packing. Look at this baby, it's ready to go. Wow. Good job, high quality. What are you doing, man? Oh. Well, look. look at that. This is not your grandfather trilog. How easy is that? Very nice, thank you. Your SCWs, Macful Green, look at that. Coming out soon, ready to ship. In I'm in a walking space, so I have to be careful so I don't get in people's way. Look at this beauty, it's ready to go. Look at this. This is gonna be a JL6 receiver right there. All the machining, all from Switzerland, everything from Switzerland. So quality is maintained all the way from the core component to the final product. Machines, machines, quality, receivers. Are you 
know now you all know before again has to be reliable it has to be tested so this is the bnt functional test room test firing all those accessories farms and suppressors and there are some candidates probably waiting to be tested eventually for advanced testing all your torture tests that you guys see sometimes on some of the other videos all the testing calibration and monitoring of all the specs this is where bnt does it lots of measuring equipment that can ensure that the perks are look at this high speed cameras so all in house folks all in house this is impressive i'm so lucky to be able to see this sometimes when we wonder where the quality or why the price of an item is so high i think as far as i'm concerned this is where it comes from high-end quality and everything it takes to make sure you have it at the end the bnt shooting range at the bnt shop being built coming soon for those who live in Thun, switzerland or in switzerland in general so get the pleasure to take a look at this while it's still in production look at this beautiful sig Sig X5 Scandic. Wow, 4000. So I forgot in my excitement. Here's a catalog from BNT. Here's the man behind BNT, Carl Brueger. You can see his picture. I think you can also see that on their website, I think. But anyway, I brought a couple of brochures back and this is the one with the personal note that he wrote for me after the visit i also got another one for a very good friend of mine who is a big and habit collector he knows who he is he got a personalized copy from bnt as well because i uh, uh i just wanted to bring something nice to him so all right so you you have seen the footage of bnt again i was very touched by the time that carl brueger the ceo and creator of BNT allowed, uh, afforded me. I was passionate by the response of the folks there. He has a lot of good plans. The facilities are amazing. A lot of expansions, you know, they are expanding, building an indoor range. And I, I hope you enjoy the place where they do the QA quality assurance testing on the farms. I mean, it was all top notch, the quality, I have not visited many facilities where you can manufacture firearms. However, that the processes that I saw while I was there for the short time I spent there, the way the engineers that I've interacted with talk to, spoke to me and what I saw, it was just amazing. And I think that's what results into the quality of those firearms. Granted, right, every manufactured product has some ups and downs. So it's not a... I'm not saying all of the products will be amazing and perfect for the end of the day. You're here, but I did think that it was amazing and very humble for me. And he's a very humble gentleman to see a person of his stature giving time back to people like us who are fans. Now I did spend <laughs> that trip cost me quite a penny, but that's part of what I enjoy. I mean, I, I started this channel to share really my passion with others such as on the farms related side though. so anyway enough talking i hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber i see a lot of the views from non-subscribers so hopefully i gain a few thousands from this video have a happy holiday merry christmas or whatever you celebrate or whatever your 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 beliefs are stay safe enjoy yourself and hopefully 2022 comes in the bang and everybody else get what they, everybody gets what they want as long as it doesn't affect somebody else's life negatively. And uh, thanks for watching. Post the comments. Let me know if there's part of the visit you see more of. I mean, my answer maybe join me on Patreon. Let me know if you have questions about what I saw and what we talked about. I did not record our conversations, but if there's enough interest and if this channel continues to grow fast, I tend to start doing live chats or going live and answering questions to people sharing what i can share as long as it's not confidential or something of that nature but anyway thank you for watching 
and i hope you enjoyed the video it was quite long perhaps but uh, happy holidays and if i don't see you until then new happy new year but be on the lookout i'll have more videos coming up specifically on some of the bnt product that i've had the chance to read to play with and some of the ones that i hopefully will have my put to be able to get my hands on and review so follow this channel thanks for watching take care